Hey to Pallav here, this is the brand new Zolo Era 2V. We did an unboxing and had a first look at this device some time ago. This is uh, the full review and quickly check out some of the quick specs. It is a 5 inch HD display, a MediaTek 1.25 GHz quad core chipset, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage, dual SIM, 3000 mAh battery, 8 MP rear camera and 13 MP front camera. That's the USB of this device. This one cost about 6500 Once you open the box, you'll see uh, the phone out here. We have the black color. And then when you go further inside, you'll have the warranty card. You'll have uh, the free screen guard. You have the micro USB cable. You have the pretty entry level uh, earphones. And then the 1.5 ampere or 1500 milliampere wall charger. So that's the phone. So the back side is plastic. This part is a metal and that's it already has a kind of a screen guard uh, here and that's a 5 inch hd resolution display there is the 13 mp camera plus an led flash or shortcut keys nothing much here micro usb port and your speakers power button volume rocker 3.5 mm jack behind you have that 8 mp camera led flash and a fingerprint sensor you can open this back flap which is quite tough actually it hides the 3000 mAh battery uh, a dedicated micro sd card slot plus two sim card slot overall although the device looks decent okay uh, but in this age of all metal bodies i don't know how far will this plastic body uh, win a people's heart there's the five inch hd resolution display it's okay uh, it does not pixelate much I can check out our color card which is also decent but it's kind of slightly on the paler side and does not have a great viewing angle oh no it does actually yeah first I thought it was kind of not good viewing angle but that's more like a reflection from my uh, lights out there but yeah it does have more than average for this price point I think it's a very decent uh, display and then these are some of the apps the UI is uh, fine but I face a lot of lag the touch screen is not exactly you know feather touch not like a flagship touch screen. so at times um, if you does not give that extra uh, deliberate tab then it might not register the transaction some of those settings Android 7.0 good and then you have your memory you see average 1.4 out of 1.8 GB memory is used, which is a great deal of memory actually, if you ask me, 76% of memory is used. And then your out of 16 GB, 10.2 GB are used. So a very high memory usage. And that's probably because you've just used some you know, benchmark apps and all. Uh, but otherwise generally you would get about uh, 50 to 60 between 50 to 60 percent of memory usage uh, however if you like you know have a lot of apps in the background or you do or you do play very demanding games and all then this guy starts to lag so what are apps uh, we have installed the benchmark apps like this but you get amazon shopping app and then your browser typical google android apps we have a Ghana, PC Mark is ours, Sony Leave, Temper. Can you uninstall that? Yeah, you can actually go ahead and uninstall the third party apps, which is a good thing. That's the 8 MP camera. I find it hard to focus by itself, but when I tap it, then it connects to the exposure as well as the focus quickly. It takes a bit of time while clicking a photo you can see that and you can start recording from there there's some of the options here you have the beauty mode and the panorama mode and then that's the 13 mp camera the 13 mp camera shows decent amount of detail but i see it's kind of overexposes the photos a bit that's the face beauty mode i don't see much of a difference Maybe it's kind of making it slightly whiter, maybe. I don't know. So these are some of those settings. Yeah. 
So you check the image and video quality on this one. They are below average. Uh, I would not use it as a primary camera. Um, but then under enough light, you get some good details. Uh, but yeah, when you zoom in, you see that those details are actually not very print quality. You can upload them to the social media sites, fine. Uh, but then they are definitely not print quality. Under low light, they show uh, lots of noise. The front camera is 13 MP camera. Uh, it's it's good actually. Under enough light, you get some decent. I wouldn't say great, but decent selfie. But under low light, both the cameras are uh, below bar. I like the sound output, it has a very nice blend of bass and treble, the bass is not uh, too much uh, nor the treble, but it's not very loud, but that's okay, I like, um, you know, sometimes when you try to make the speaker sound too loud, uh, the bass suffers, so this is good output. I thought the sound wasn't uh, allowed till the time I realized that I was blocking the speaker here. So when you're not blocking the speaker accidentally, you'll find that the surround sound is really good. But the voice is digitally enhanced. It's not very natural. Overall, a very good sound output. We did some benchmark testing and expectedly the very entry level uh, MediaTek processor scores much below par so only 29600 in n22 558 5094 and 1060 in geekbench 4 only 97 in 3d mark that's towards the lowest actually 2611 uh, in a pc mark um, the battery gave us just under 7.5 hours of battery life which i would say it's okay and that's mainly because of the 5 inch and hd resolution which means that uh, you will definitely have to charge the phone uh, daily, but if you use it moderately, then you might have you might be able to get through your office time or your business hours. We tried playing some games as well, some demanding game, but it you know it kind of lags when you start playing those Modern Combat 5 and Godfire and that kind of games. But if games are um, simple to not so demanding, then uh, this guy plays them quite smoothly. Overall, I would say at 6,500, um, it's a decent device, but not the best out there. You definitely get uh, at least better build uh, in this price point, or maybe by paying about thousand rupees more. Uh, I like the audio quality. I also like the front camera a bit. At this price point, I think the front camera exceeds the uh, exceeds what you expect. But uh, overall, they are not. They are okay as in uh, nothing much to write home about uh, also has this plastic built and all uh, you'd appreciate if you like to carry extra batteries if you travel with it at all but otherwise all metal body is uh, kind of the trend these days overall if you have strictly six and a half thousand to pay this can be one of the contenders but if you can pay let's say one thousand or even you know even better about two two point five thousand more than this one then you'll get a very good, more powerful, better device than this was. If you like this video, please hit the like button, ask anything related to this, and we'll try to answer them all. And please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love. Thank you.